Hi, my name is Robert. Please read the comments in the about section of this video. It has valuable information and updates. My YouTube channel has a disclaimer video that I encourage you to watch. And please like, share, and subscribe. I hope you found what you're looking for. Thank you very much for watching. I'm about to put two cameras up here against this wall. They're going to have full exposure to the weather. So I'm going to put the post in here. And then I'm going to take the ends and put the weatherproofing connection on them so let me go ahead and get these uh, anchors in the wall and get this camera box open and get all the connectors I need to weatherproof this first thing you want to do is thread these parts through the wire I'm gonna put this on first then the small rubber one then thread it through that and then fix the end of the wire onto the connector. There's the base, there's the rubber seal, there's the sleeve. So now I'm going to fix the end of the connector, one of those on there in the B arrangement and then I'll be able to put this seal on and connect the camera to the wall and connect the wire to it and that should weatherproof it. I have the wires pinched in the order orange white orange green white blue blue white green brown white brown I'm gonna slide them into the connector then I'm gonna crimp the connector and then it should be solid pull the sleeve down as far as I can before I crimp that connector remember these connectors are better for the braided wire not the solid but you gotta work with what you got. I got them pushed all the way in. I got the sleeve pushed in the right length. Now I'm gonna crimp it with the tool that'll lock it in. I squeezed it in the connector, held it five seconds, release it. We should be good to go with this connector. I'm gonna go ahead now and get the camera on the wall and put the rest of this connector together and fire the camera up. I'm going to take this seal, put it over this connector, slide that stuff down that connector, plug it in, and twist lock it on, and I should have a weatherproof seal. I'm going to go uh, do the next camera, then check, make sure they're both on and properly aligned, then I'll put in the set screws to set the screws in place and lock the cameras in so nothing should move them without effort. I put these up so that the cable comes out in the X pattern. I probably may have done a little better making it come out in a T pattern because that way if water goes in it, it could drain out the bottom, but this is probably not weatherproof, no big deal. This is how the connector looks. The seal is around there the whole way. Try not to pinch it so that it comes out but it's still being held screw this in tight that's how the back of it looks this should be weatherproof and not let any moisture in there and cause that connection to the grate the camera's mounted I have them I believe directed properly instead of going inside and looking at the monitor I have the flare app on my phone so I'm gonna pull the cameras up on my phone position them properly and go ahead and lock them down. If you feel that this information was useful, please like it and share it with your social media friends. You can subscribe to my channel so that you will get notifications of future videos that I post. You can follow me on Twitter and if you need to contact me directly, please visit my website. And if you have any questions, leave them below and someone or myself will reply to them. Again, thank you very much for watching.